Today we are doing Survival Shelters Budget Challenge. Here's how it works. We're each gonna take turns dropping a ball down the Plinko board, and whatever it lands on, we have different build materials. And this is what you have to build your survival shelter out of. I'll go first. Fire from heaven! Oh. what I get? Oh, come on. Cardboard. Cardboard. Yeah! can't just call dibs on things. What's the point of the Plinko board? Right, I'm going next and I'm gonna drop a new ball, the football. Broncos country, let's ride. Let's ride. Let's ride. Broncos country. Broncos country. Broncos country. Broncos country. Let's ride. Oh! oh. <laughs> Aluminum foil. What? Aluminum foil, eh? Well, let's get building. Is this all I get? No, I get more than one piece. <laughs> When it comes to building a survival shelter, it's all about the environment around you. I could build a survival shelter right here out in the open, but if a windstorm comes through, it might just blow my whole shelter down. So right now I'm kind of looking around at the different trees to see which tree is the most fortified. So that way I can connect my shelter to the tree for more stability. Yeah, this one's not that good. This one's not that stable. This has a lot of promise. If you guys know me and how I like to build survival shelters, I like to go with the classic A-frame style. Should I do that exact same build with a tinfoil? I don't know. I, it could work. I gotta build like a tinfoil rope to go across here and then <laughs> I could do sheets going down like this. It could work. Or I could go with the triple triangle and I wrap it all the way around. And then build a little uh, roof. I like that one. I think I like that. Hey, no sabotage. Yeah, guys. Oh, this is satisfying. Oh, Ow. Ow. It's the base design. Ah, my back hurts already. A lot of bending over, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. What? I just got lightheaded. Oh. You guys are gonna love this. So I am deciding to build my shelter over this tree. Reason being is the tree, since it's so bent over, it's gonna help. And it's gonna look sick, so. What are you doing with that uh, rake? I'm gonna rake the ground as well, make it nice and clean for surviving. How are you gonna get in? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> is that still only your first roll? Yeah. Oh, wow. Isn't that crazy? We have to make these shelters as strong as we can because later we're gonna be doing durability tests with different things. Keep so. that in mind. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no. First tear. Not good. Special boxes as well. This one's labeled Samuel's Clothing. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. <laughs> right now I'm just opening up all the cardboard boxes to... You okay? Medic. Band-Aid. Wrapping in some tin foil. You're right. <laughs> tin foil band-aid. Okay, that should hopefully stop the bleeding. <laughs> Rule number two. Now most people would be worried because with cardboard, you usually want to use tape to make it extra secure. But if you know the hack, like me, check this out. Put one down, this down, this down, this down, and then pull it up. And we got a solid block here. Right now I'm just building all the blocks, see what I gotta work with, and then I'm gonna make a roof and somehow try and make it super secure. I didn't know tinfoil was so dangerous. I just cut, oh, right right oh, in the crease. That looks like a stinger. Right in crease. <laughs> the crease. <laughs> oh no, it's falling apart. I ripped the roll, I cut my finger open. Oh, I did not anticipate this happening. This is why we have trained medical staff on premises at all times. Yeah. So, how are you doing? I'm doing great. It's just like Minecraft. I'm building all these blocks and uh, this is gonna be, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh oh. Not doing so good against the wind. No, it's because it, it ripped now. It's all falling apart. I gotta get back to work. Makes you feel any better, I made you something. What? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I have a genius plan that is gonna help me to win this challenge. But I'm not giving it away to you guys yet. Looks like you repaired some of the damage. Yeah, some of the damage. It takes a lot more work. Another hack for cardboard shelters. Cut them in half and put them together and they make walls. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
so I think this part will be used for my roof. <laughs> I'm making some tin foil rope now. Um, this is just gonna help with the roof and then hopefully with the support structure. But I also gotta figure out how to get inside. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll connect these boxes together. Wow. Tin foil rope, it's a good hack. I wonder how strong this rope is. What are you using it for? Uh, like a top support here. Oh. I'm be able to maybe build a roof off of this. So far, this is looking pretty fresh. So I'm gonna continue fortifying the outside and then build a survival shelter inside the already exterior survival shelter. Oh! <laughs> You're taking a beating building this fort. I know. I'm making a nice pillow. Oh, Andrew, you lost your hat. I want that. No. Right here, I built a door. <laughs> well, not really a door, it's just sort of like an entrance. But I haven't been inside the tinfoil house yet, so hopefully I fit. Oh, whoa, no way. This is really cool in here. And I can kind of stand up, which is even better. Who keeps putting pine cones in here? I have officially finished my shelter. And the only way to get inside is over here to the front. Not too big. Just the right size, so we just crawl through, and we're there. There's lots of space in here. And like I mentioned earlier, my shelter has this other side room that I'll be able to go into just in case my outer walls fail. Andrew, get out of here. Man, you got the merch all dirty. Uh, the merch can never get dirty. Speaking of. Oh, yeah, j2shop.com, brand new merch. You love it. <laughs> Our shelters are all complete, and now we are on to phase two, which we are going to get budgets to determine how much we can get for comfort, entertainment, and food for our shelters. And then we are gonna have a judge go to both shelters and determine which one is best. And the loser is gonna have to do a polar plunge cannonball. The Mr. Beast Mega Button! Come on! Whoa! Oh yes! <laughs> what I get? You got 25! Oh, that is dangerous. Be careful, though. It's part of the Be careful, though. Whoa! What? Yes! Ten dollars! What? <laughs> We're here at Target. Time to get our supplies. For one of my snacks, I'm getting these habanero chips. I really wanted to get golden Oreos, one of the best snacks there are, but that's literally half of my budget. And I don't even think beef jerky I can get for ten bucks. If I buy just beef jerky, that's gonna have to be comfort, snacks, and entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be my go-to snack, but these are on sale for $1.99. These are yucky. Uh, they're not good. <laughs> but it's the cheapest snack. <laughs> $1.29 for these snacks. I mean, you gotta go Sour Patch Kids, right? Good. All right, this will be our snack for the fort. $1.79 for some liquid death. It's a good combo. I wish I had a bigger budget because I'd buy this $10 cereal for some reason. Magic Spoon, you guys heard of that? Yep. Mm -hmm. 10 bucks. Blanket slash pillow is on sale. Six dollars, look at this. Seven dollars. Are you kidding me? Every towel here is like 10 bucks or more. This bath towel is only five dollars. And a towel is pretty comfy. So you can lay it down on the ground, I can lay under it, whatever you want. And I already built a pillow, so. Looking for entertainment? We got a lot of cool new board games, but they're all like 30 bucks. This is all I can afford is Dragon Ball Z card game. We are back from the store, ready for the finale. And we are here with our judge, Samuel, who will be reviewing the durability test of each of our shelters. So to start things off, Andrew, take it away. This is my uh, fort. I got tin foil for my material. Ah, pretty exciting, huh? Yeah. So I went with a uh, triangle design. Triangles are one of the strongest shapes. We have a roof up here to protect from the elements. It goes all the way around, double insulated, you know, the whole shebang. Double insulated. How's it double insulated? Well, just watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> what are all these like vine things? Oh, these are tinfoil rope, but this helps support the roof. Okay. So you're probably wondering, how do I get in here? I am definitely wondering that. So right down here is actually a claw through entrance. So go ahead and climb on in. Does it help with bugs? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's roomy entrance. That there is a custom homemade pillow. <laughs> wow, it's, that's... It's got a lot of grass in there. To yeah, that seems really soft. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that was my first um, one. So, on the inside, you'll see it's very shiny. It, it's very 
cozy. Yeah. I had $10 for my budget to get entertainment, snacks, and comfort. Wow. So. For $10, that's pretty Yeah, so you got your blankie there. Blankie. You can use to cover yourself. You can use for the floor, whatever you want. Wow. Plus, this thing is EMF proof. EMF proof. What is even an EMF? Electromagnetic frequencies. It oh. cannot penetrate inside this house. So my cell phone won't work? Uh, you have very bad reception inside. Well, that's, uh, that's a good thing. For snacks, we have Sour Patch Kids. If I had known that you were the judge, I probably would have went with cow tails. Exactly. These are gross. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Bro, whoa, whoa! Who picked this judge? Who, yeah. <laughs> have you had that flavored liquid death though? Never. Okay, go ahead, give it a try. It's not the worst thing I've ever drunk. <laughs> All right, so I'm inside of Andrew's fort, and my first thoughts are actually that this is a lot warmer than I was expecting it to be because all of the aluminum foil is actually reflecting the heat from the sun back at you. But because of that, it's also way brighter than I was anticipating, so I feel like sleeping in this would be really hard. I am noticing that he's got a creative shelf. Ooh, that's for you. I oh. love Dragon Ball Z, so you may go Ooh. ahead and open those. Wow. That's part of the entertainment budget. Wow, oh, that sounds great. Ah, cool. it's got Goku. Goku's one of my favorites. All right, do I get a rare? I hope you do. Somebody I don't know. Oh. Ah, Sun Goku. Oh, Master Chin. A Kai, yeah. Goku. Ooh, the training begins. Is there a holographic card in here? Oh, Vegeta. It's the best. Ooh, it's Bardock. This guy is like the original OG Saiyan. He's uh, Goku's dad for you guys that don't know anything about Dragon Ball Z. Wow, these are great. I have no idea what this means, but <laughs> I like Bardock. So cool. I, that's like a bonus point for sure. I give you like a solid four out of 10. I do like the shelf though. That was very creative. It's time for the durability test. We're gonna be doing rain, wind, and earth. We'll see what that means. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go inside and then Samuel's gonna do the durability of the different elements and then determine how well it it holds up. Wow, that worked a lot better than I thought it would. The roof almost came off, but that's all right. Yeah. All right, next up is the water attack. Not bad. Way better than I thought it would. Way better. All right, Earth. Did it make it all the way through? Just barely. Yeah, but I can just push my wall back out. That's pretty impressive, but now you do have like a massive hole on the side. Man, oh I don't God. think it really, did it even rip? I think it just fell over. I mean, it tore a little mm -hmm. bit, like the front one tore. Oh, but the back one didn't tear, so. Yeah, I'm I'm really impressed. I'm impressed with how dry your towel is still, too. Yeah. Man, good job. Thank well you. Well done. Welcome to the timber board tower. Okay, wow. So I wanted it to be pretty spacious. Uh, you're probably wondering what this is. I'll tell you I'm later. I'm curious, okay. So for comfort, I got this epic blanket slash ah. kind of pillow yeah, combo. I had $25 for my budget. This okay. was on sale for $6. Wow, what a great deal. This is so soft. Yeah, huge. We got a so nice. You do want to lay down. You have enough room to put your head right here. Okay. For my snack, I have three different snacks to choose from. Wow. You can have all three of them or just one. Yellow bird habanero chips. Okay. Each rings. A bowl of cereal. Ooh. You know, they will uh, see this is going to be a fun test because if I eat something that's too spicy for me, it actually gives me hiccups. Oh. So we're going to find out how spicy these are. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that's not too bad. Not too spicy for being habanero? No, I feel like it's a spice I might build though. Like, the more you do it. Those are, those are good. Last but not least, for the activity, mm -hmm. entertainment, I got chalk because I have cardboard. I just thought it'd be fun to draw all over the walls. Okay. Oh, that does work. You know, you can draw whatever you want, any colors. And we have a lot of walls here, so you could be drawing for days. For days. 
to answer your question, what is this? Yeah, what is that? This is my survival shelter within a survival shelter. Ooh. So at night or if any attacks come, instead of just sitting in here like a wall gets destroyed, mm -hmm. I go inside another shelter, close up, and I'm secure from any attacks, anything, storms. So that's what this is. So you really think nothing is going to be able to make it through that cardboard? No. I really think this is not as good of a shelter from the standpoint of, look at all these holes. There's just a hole there. There's a hole over here. Hole, hole. There's just, there's holes everywhere in this. I can actually feel the breeze hitting me in the face right now. And honestly, in Andrews, I didn't have that problem at all. Now that we're done with the tour, it is time for the durability test to see if this can hold the elements. Okay guys, I am in my survival shelter right now. The durability test is about to begin and I have high hopes. Okay, it's time for the wind test. One of my walls fell over. Okay, wasn't, wasn't too bad. You got a block that's like almost falling out of that back corner. And then the front wall fell over. Honestly, Andrews did better than that. All right, water test. Inside of my hut is soaking now. <laughs> Justin's like inside of his little fort, inside the fort, but it looks like he's in a dog kennel in like timeout. <laughs> I am a little nervous about the final stage. We have a bowling ball being thrown. Here we go. Oh. Give it well. Three, two, one. Oh my. No. Wow. It didn't make it. Oh, he's got a whole wall of logs on the back side. That's why it didn't make Wait, it through. Wait, what? That was super that was smart. pretty smart. This, like, this log, look at how much this dented into this box. Like the whole box contorted around it. So that log might have just saved Justin the contest. Wow. There's, what? There's no way. <laughs> Samuel, declare us a loser. Okay. You. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Tin foil! I never <laughs> thought I'd lose to tin foil. <laughs> to the plunge. I lost. <laughs> Holy my! <laughs> like and subscribe.